Hey, young men. Mishmael Ronaldo here. All right. So you should have already seen the video on what is heat and taken some notes on that. This video now is about the three different types of heat transfer. So we've been talking about energies, uh, and we used Mr. Chance to remember all the different types of energies that we have. And one of those is heat or thermal energy. So there's three ways that heat can transfer from one substance or object to another. So let's go ahead and start by looking um, at what you're going to be using for this. So I gave you this page um, in class, so you'll be using this page to write the notes as you're going through this video. Don't get the second handout I gave you, just work on this one first. All right, so conduction. So what you see on this page, you need to make sure you write down there on that handout. Conduction is the process in which heat or electricity is directly transmitted. Transmitted means to pass through a substance. So pretty much here, heat is transferred by the method of actual touch, when two substances physically touch each other. So, make sure you write this down. Um, you can pause the video to finish writing it down, and then continue playing the video when you're ready. All right, so let's look at this example. You can also draw this example there in your notes. So right here, as you see, we have here a hot bowl of soup. We, you, we know it's a hot bowl of soup because we can see the steam rising from here. In addition, we also have this metal spoon right here. So we know that metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. So when the metal spoon touches the hot bowl of soup, the metal spoon will get um, some more heat now because the, the hotter substance, which is the soup, will transfer, transmit the heat to it. Let's look at the next one. Now we have convection. All right, so same thing here. You're going to be writing this down. If you need to, go ahead and pause the video and then continue playing when you're ready to go. So here it says that the movement caused within a fluid, now a fluid is a gas, a liquid, or plasma, which we'll talk about later. So when, when there's movement within these fluids where hotter or less dense substances will rise. Now that's very important to remember that hot, hot substances rise and cool ones sink, or warm rises, cool sinks. So let's write that down here. We have some arrows here. So we're going to write here that warm rises, and this happens with liquid with uh, air, so like the wind and stuff like that, and also with plasma. And here we have that cool sinks. So we have different examples here. This first example that we have right here is air. As you can see in both these pictures, whether it's the daytime or the nighttime, the cool air sinks and the warm air rises. All right, so the next example that we have right here is water. Same thing with water, as you can see with the arrows and even in the uh, descriptions that it has here, that the cooler water right here will sink while the warmer water rises because it's less dense. And finally, we have right here inside the mantle, we also have convection currents where the same thing happens. The cooler parts sink because they're more dense and the warmer parts will rise up. So we've talked about density in the past. So as we know, when, uh, and we also saw in the last video, when objects are hotter, their atoms are moving, moving around a lot faster. So if they're moving around a lot faster, they're a little further apart. Therefore, there's less amount of mass within a given volume or a given space. And we've talked about that with density. That's exactly why the orange is floating while the, um, the grape uh, sank. All right, let's go ahead and look at the last type of heat transfer. All right, let's take a look at radiation. So radiation is the emission or the release of energy as electromagnetic waves that move away, okay, so they move further away from the hotter object or the hotter substance. So as we can see here in this very first picture, we have the sun right here. And the sun, through electromagnetic waves, is releasing radiation towards us, towards the earth. And that's how we feel the heat of the sun, okay? Because we're not physically touching the sun, all right? But it's radiating towards us, okay? Same thing we have here with the fireplace, all right? We don't have to be right next to the fireplace necessarily. We're not touching the fire to get warmed by it, but it's radiating heat through waves towards us, and that's how we feel the heat of the fire. All right, so now that we've gone through the three different types of energy transfers, uh, heat energy transfers, and you've written those down in your notes, now take out this handout. 
So now based on what you did, or sorry, based on what you saw in this last video, now you're going to go ahead and try to fill out this right here on your own. The first question says, describe the heat transfer in the picture below. All right, so you have this picture right here. So right here in this spot, you're going to write down what kind of heat transfer is going on. Is it, con is it conduction? Is it convection? Or is it radiation? And how do you know? This next part says, describe the heat transfer in the wind, the oceans, and the mantle. So remember, all of these are fluids, and one of our heat transfers deals with fluids, all right, with things that move easily, all right? So you're going to uh, write down whether it's conduction, convection, or radiation here, and describe how you know that. Finally, the last one down here says describe how sunburns are related to heat transfer. So we get burned by the sun, but we're not actually physically touching the sun, but there's a way that this heat gets to us. So right here in this space, you're going to write down whether it's conduction, convection, or radiation, and how you know and how that affects our sunburns. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we're going to go and continue some of this stuff in class later on.